Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. Sheep or goat? How do we tell the difference? As I said, our scripture is from Matthew. It tells us, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as shepherds separate the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. These are verses 31 through 33. I have a couple of pictures up. So how many of us think that we can tell a sheep from a goat? It might not be as easy as we think. In this picture, the top one is a goat and the bottom is a sheep. I have some other pictures for us to look at. Let's see if we can pick them out. Here we go. Can you pick which or which? I think the top left is sheep, and then beside it is a goat. The bottom left sheep, and beside it, no, the bottom left goat, and beside it, sheep. Oh, I'm not sure. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Here are a few hints that might help. The easiest way to tell a goat from a sheep is that a goat's tail usually sticks up in the air, but a sheep's tail will hang down. If sheep have horns, they're usually very curved. A goat's horns are less curved. Sheep usually have fluffy wool that must be sheared, while goats have flattened hair. Do you think Jesus can tell sheep from goats? Well, that's what our Bible lesson is about today. One day, Jesus was speaking to a group of followers about the day when the Son of Man would come in all of his glory. The Son of Man was the title Jesus used for himself. He said, he will sit on his throne and all the nations would gather before him. He would separate the people like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on the right side and the goats on his left. How did he know the sheep from the goats? Jesus went on to explain. He will say to those on the right, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. When did we do that, the righteous ones will ask. And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these of my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Then he will turn to those on his left and say, I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked, and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will ask, when did we refuse to help you? He will answer, I tell you the truth, when you refuse to help the least of these my brothers and sisters, 
you are refusing to help me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. The point of this story is not that doing good things will get people into heaven. The point is, if we truly belong to Jesus, we will show love for others as Jesus shows love for us. That is how Jesus can tell the sheep from the goats. And let us close in prayer. Dear God, Help us to look for you in the face of our neighbor. Help us to show love for others as you show love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.